you Aries I want to say thank you for being here happy February Aries all right Aries this is the month of February you are a fire sign and the month of February is a water sign so let's check in to see what is happening remember in order to see the extended of these readings you have to use the join button to get the extended of these reading i love you aries i love you guys it's gonna be rocky but let's see what's coming up for you guys this month has four weeks and um this four weeks whatever happened and trans oh fairies oh something fell oh all right so aries you're in the angman position okay so in the first week, it's a water week. Go back and listen to the extended reading. The first week is a water week. It is death transformation. You are in the angman position trying to figure out what is going on. You're going within um, to find help. So whatever is transpiring, Aries, take it easy in the first week because it's a water week. The second week is the week of the lovers. So some of you could be having issues with your partner relationship. In the second week, this is the week of Valentine's. So happy Valentine's to whoever share Valentine's. So we have two water energies that is coming up. The energy of the Angman is the energy of the month, and the energy of the lover is also water. In the third week, you have the energy of the Empress. So in the third week, I see that whatever is transpiring, the nurturing energy is back. Uh, creativity is back. This is good because it's bringing positive alignment of energy. And this is um, positively aligning you going on. Whatever is transpiring, I see the energy of the tower coming up for you, Aries, in the last week. It's a fire energy. This is good because it is a fire energy. So a tower moment is coming up for you. Aries so be aware of that and let's go in and see what is transpiring so you have two time water 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 you have water you have hurt you have water um, you have twice water and the third week hurt and the last week is balanced so your um from your second week going um through is going to be good for you um aries so all right aries let's see what's coming up for the aries month of february 2020 aries sun moon horizon sign so as we go in the first week, um, going in the second week, I see that in the first week, some of you are going to make a decision. So whatever this decision is, you Aries are making a decision uh, from the first week going in the second week. It could be a decision that has to do with family situation issues around the family. It could be a situation to deal with um, issues around your partner. But I see you making a decision um, going in um, the second week so whatever that is transpiring and happening um, a decision is made in the first week going in the second week I see you have here the ten of ones a lot of burdens with your relationship a lot of burdens relationship and your um, burdens with your relationship but also burdens with your um, stability financial stability a lot of burdens is coming up but not to worry about this um, Aries uh, um, things always work out you just have to um, know how to start balancing out your life okay then we see conflicts and the conflicts has to do with your materialistic stability. I see a towel moment is coming in so the nurturing energy of the Empress that is happening and that is transpiring Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see a, a whole lot of conflicts that is going on. I see burdens and conflicts for you, Aries. Um, but burdens with your relationship and uh, your, you could have car issue, you could have that you need to move, that sort of a thing is coming up. I see a whole lot of lies with your partner, lies with your relationship, lies with friendship 
it's coming out in the second week so lies with your partnership and I see the truth I see an offer is going to be coming in for you so whatever the issue the situation is and whatever is transpiring I see um so prosperity is coming in I see an offer is going to be coming in so if you want to buy a car you want to buy something of materialistic uh, stand um, I see this coming in and this is going to be good okay so lies with relationships um, is going to be coming out you're going to be finding out something about your partner if it, yeah heartbreaks is uh, um, the outcomes of this month Ooh. so Wow it's like bam heartbreaks wow that that it's me too here is all right so wake up oh so it is good because the heart aches is in the reverse okay so there was some lies and deceptiveness um it could have to do with a gemini all right so whatever that was that is going to be transpiring in the second week there was some lies and some deceptiveness with a gemini and i see you're going to be receiving an offer so whatever that is there whatever that is playing out i see you're going to be receiving an offer so whatever that has transpired between you and a gemini i see you're going to receive an offer i see um there's a lot of burdens and with these burdens i see um um, conflicts with these burdens and uh, um, whatever the deceptive was and lies I see the truth is coming out okay so here we have in the first week it's as if you guys are waiting on some information some of you could be having issues with your kids and you're trying to figure out and make a decision some of you could have find out that your kids lie about something and your heart is broken but you're trying to help your kid out of something so um, that is something that is going to be happening for some of you in the first week and that's why you you go within because you know that either your your kid or a family member lies some of you could be waiting on some information again um the energy of the hangman is here whatever the issue is whatever the situation is again the energy of the hangman is here and whatever is transpiring with this energy of this hangman it has to do with your relationship it has to do with friendship I see you're just um, holding off everyone and just going within and connecting with yourself and I think it's the best thing to do it's a week of uh, um, it is really the week of uh, um, balance for you I see some of you dealing with the king of Pentacles whether this the king of Pentacles the king of cups whoever this person is um it could be a very creative person whoever this person is it could be a pisces some of you could be in a relationship with a pisces or some of you could be waiting for something from a pisces okay i see a lot of news is coming in whatever this news is whatever that is leaving your life is going to bring in something much much better so i see that maybe a pisces um when you come to the third week going in the fourth week you could be receiving some news from this person Whoever this person is, I see news is coming in from this person. A lot of news is going to be coming in from this person. But whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing like a tower moment and a lot of news is coming in. Here, I see that some of you are trying to find balance and some of you want to work out a situation with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, I see in the first week going in the second week that some of you are going to be collaborating. So I see an offer um, could be coming up where people wants to collaborate with you so an offer could be coming up I see a whole lot of burdens but I see a whole lot of support is around you I see a whole lot of offers is going to be coming up some of you if you are in business this is going to be super super cool go check out the business um, channel because there you can know exactly um, if you had some burden some issues with business I see this is going to resolve and I see new offers is going to be coming in okay some of you could be having some burdensome issues with a Sagittarian 
whatever is to inspire i see your wishes and dreams is coming out over a conflicts and a deceptive move that has to inspire some of you had a situation with an aquarian some deceptive move as transpire and i see that you're going to be overcoming the situation and you're going to be coming out on top so this is good so and and an aquarians has done something deceptive and they have been caught and i see that um this situation is going to be coming in i see that help is going to be coming in um with some lies and deceptiveness i see a taurus is going to be helping out some of you guys um there was some lies and deceptiveness that was created and i see a taurus is going to be coming in and helping out some of you guys and that is going to be good whatever is transpiring and happening i see that the star has found out the lies and deceptiveness and it has to do with a scorpion that has created some burdens. It can be an old scorpion man that is uh, 50 years and older. Um, some of you could be, if you're in a relationship and dealing with a Pisces, but I see some of you um, that was uh, working for a whole scorpion man. Um, and this man is 50 years and older and he has created a lot of lies and burden for you. I see a Taurus is going to come in and help you out. I see some of you could be having legal issues and you're going to be receiving an offer. Take it or leave it. An offer is going to be coming in for you guys. Okay. So whoever is having legal issues, I see an offer is going to be coming in. Um, whatever these issues are and these situations are, I'm seeing that in um, the last week, whatever that was blocking you is going to be coming down. I see a lot of offers is going to be coming in. I see whoever out there had conflicts with an Aquarian or there was conflicts, you're going to be winning those conflicts. Definitely people in legalities and that sort of a thing, an offer is going to be received and that's why the heartbreaks is in return because uh, an offer is going to be coming up for you for um, with the, um, the deceptiveness. So some of you... Um, if your mom is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see um, you are like very um, sorry. Um, you're you're like it could be a sister also where you're heartbroken, but it could be your mom. If your mom is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, it could be your mom that you're very heartbroken about something. Okay, um, I see some of you are dealing with also a Gemini and. Um, some this Gemini has been very very deceptive however way this Gemini is coming up they've been very deceptive okay so be aware of that the fourth week um I see some of you are dealing um with a um a Pisces a Pisces cancer or scorpion person and they could be offering you something so this is a man 50 years and older it could be a grand I see the grandmother, grandfathers, or the parents are coming up, okay? If you are married um, to a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, I see that some of you, um, you know, you're waiting in limbo to find out what is it this man wants and how is this going to go. So your center is affecting you where um, a Sagittarius have created some burdens for some of you, some of you, and... Um, some of you, a scorpion has created some burdens for you. And, and, and this is really affecting you guys. So Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. What other messages are coming out for you, Aries? So I see some of you were dealing with an investigation at your work. Um, because this energy is the energy of employees or colleagues, colleagues are coming up so there has been an investigation at your workplace whatever is going to be coming out from this i see some investigation is at your workplace for some of you some of you it could be just reorganization and um this is coming up um very strongly um i'm seeing some of you that has co had connected with um and felt as if you, these people was your soul family, um, you're looking back and realizing that it's not true. I see an end coming in for someone at your work. 
um, some of you uh, and is coming into some cunningness that was going on and of the workplace so I see that is coming to an end some of you are disappointed because you thought that someone had your back at the workplace and you're realizing that is not true I see news is coming in whatever um, this news is all about is that something is about to leave your life but I see something much better is coming in because you have the nine of cups and fastness okay so whatever that was blocking your life your business as you come from the third week in the fourth week I see um, news coming in that something is going to remove and it's going to be replaced I see a block a blocked is place up on um, a Gemini for some of you a block is placed up a Gemini and a Sagittarius so whatever is transpiring I see a block placed up on a Gemini a Sagittarius and a scorpion so whatever that was transpiring I see a block being placed up a Gemini um, a Scorpio a Sagittarius I see a scorpion a Sagittarius is as if um, an abrupt ending with a scorpion and a Sagittarius okay so whatever is transpiring I see an abrupt ending with a scorpion and a Sagittarius however that is playing out I see a lot of um, um, communication a lot of communication whatever is transpiring I see conflicts a lot of conflicts a lot of chaos is going on but you're going to be getting out of this a lot of con conflicts a lot of chaos is going on but you're definitely going to be getting out of this whatever that was transpiring and however this was happening I see um, a new contract is going to be coming in for some of you some of you that was waiting on a ring to get engaged you weren't hearing anything about it it's definitely going to be happening okay so if you were waiting on a ring to get engaged it's definitely going to be happening I see some of you are going to be um, a contract between you and a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is going to be ending so it could be if you're married to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person I see them ending this relationship if you have um, if you had um, a relationship with this person it could be a sister um, I see this person could die okay so be aware of that but I see a contract I see lies and deceptiveness was going on at the workplace for some of you so go check out the work reading um, when it's up and I see if you had legal issues I see you're going to be receiving an offer take that offer whatever the heartbreaks was um, some of you um, if your grandmother is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn they could be passing away okay they could be passing away alrighty but whatever lies and deception that was going on is really going to be coming to an end and an abrupt ending is there for a Sagittarius and a Pisces a, a, a Sagittarius and a Scorpion an abrupt ending I see also um, the ending of uh, real slew deceptive people around you okay so I see a block on a Gemini a block is there on a Gemini all right let's see what's the animal energy that is going to be um, helping you guys so um, choose card one card two which card do you choose um, this month we're using the animal um, energy and we are using past lives okay now this is one of the most beautiful 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 it's the howl wisdom so I guess like the first two weeks the energy of the howl the wisdom comes in that is going to be bringing in a wisdom and guiding you forward and this is so wonderful this is so good so the energy of the howl is an air energy so I see inner wisdom you guys could be really highly intuition in this week and this is going to be good the energy of the beaver if you choose the second card is here the energy of the beaver is an earth energy and this is good the beaver is just very quiet very still just going through your daily life not getting involved with other people building on themselves and going forward 
and this is good let's see the past lives that is going to be coming up i see endings i see a lot of endings like sharp endings you have the towel moment in the fourth week but in the middle of the month so it's going to affect a lot of people like like a lot of endings oops daisy all right so there is the energy of a past life karmatic relationships so some of you <laughs> some of you are dealing with karmatic relationships whatever is transpiring a whole lot of you are dealing with karmatic relationships whatever is transpiring whatever is happening i see a whole lot of you dealing with karmatic relationships where you're clearing karma prosecute prosecution and injustice wow this is the reading that i have in front of me this is the reading this is like some of you are in karmatic relationship and some of you you're pros unjustly prosecuted okay it's so weird it's so weird ladies and gentlemen and i have read for the rest but i really want to see this you know i have this deck so long and I was guided to use this deck. Prosecution, prosecution, prosecution. A lot of you are being prosecuted. Um, unbelievable. And this is exactly the reading. If you see the reading here, it is exactly the reading that is here. And I haven't read for anyone else, but I really need to. Um, okay. So, validation of your suspicion. Okay. You were accused of witchcraft, being an, um, an, an eater, and other crimes in the past. You suffer greatly as a result of an um, ensuring prosecution. And the fear has carried forward into this lifetime. In the past, your characters and behavior were examined publicly, and you were blamed for um, coping failures and debt that had nothing to do with you. Your neighbors and the government said that you were cast in spells, which was a capital offense. In reality, you were a good-hearted person as you remain um, to this day. Who had the ability to see into the future and to use energy for healing purpose only? That lifetime has made you very sensitive to gossip and rumors. If someone falsely accuses you now, you become fearless and upset because that's the behavior that led to your painful debt in previous lifetime. You may also be afraid to open, admit that you're still a talented healer and a psychic. Unfortunately, you're keeping your spiritual skills a secret to avoid recreating the pain of the past. To heal from this, know that in the current lifetime, Spiritual teachers and healers are revealed instead of fear. You agree to in reincarnate at this time because your hard won knowledge from previous lifetime is needed on this planet. And the fact is that you're back on the hurt, showing that no one can harm you, permit you, or prevent you from pursuing your spiritual part ladies and gentlemen this is what i'm saying two feet four feet scales are hidden may our minds stay open and our wings will spend listen ladies and gentlemen this is really really a month where you're going to be feeling prosecuted but guess what Get going, get going. Some of you are in karmatic relationship and some of you are going to be feeling prosecution and injustice in you. But I see you're going to be coming over this because I see you're going to be receiving an offer. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to know what is coming up in the extended of this reading, 
um, join uh, our channel link with us and I love you guys namaste until next time mm -hmm.